Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the range that I'm currently trading on Bitcoin and how we can be looking to trade the breakout of said range. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so what I'm seeing here on the chart, obviously we've got a little bit of a symmetrical triangle going on, but nevertheless a sideways range. Uh, what we can see is the top of this is around 7,420 and the low coming in at around 7,220, 7,200 ish. Okay, so we got this nice $200 range, which is great for day traders. Okay, so you know traders like myself, this is nice uh, percentage gains uh, to be had within within said range. OK, uh, as you can see, actually, let me let me just say that, you know, it's really important to remember okay, a few a few things when it comes to trading that markets in general. So this is not just cryptocurrency. I'm referring, referring to all markets. They are range bound, moving sideways more than they are impulsively trending up and down. OK, so you do have to be good at uh, range bound trading. If you do want to become a successful trader, I would say it's quite an integral part uh, as it's doing it more often than not. Uh, and secondly, specifically to cryptocurrency, that when when Bitcoin is range bound, like it's been today, altcoins are very profitable to be trading. And my alt of the day was uh, Ravencoin. That is my that was my scalping coin for today. And uh, yeah, I don't make pretty decent profits uh, off of that one trading to the monthly level. Um, but yeah, let's, let's stay on Bitcoin for a second. As you can see from, um, well, t this morning what we had was the price moving down. But I was really looking, uh, you know, seeing it mar market clearly getting a, a top and a bottom cap. And uh, what we saw was in the morning coming down towards the low of the cap. Okay, and obviously that is from low to high, hitting the 618 there uh, and seeing the low of the cap. And then <laughs> funnily enough, from the high to the low, coming up and hitting the 618 cap on the on the top side as well. Um, but I guess this is really what people are when they're in, interested in my insights, what they're kind of paying for that first thing in the morning I was, you know, giving it that I, I, I really believed you have to remember firstly, there's there are no absolutes in trading. There is not. I cannot say with 100 percent certainty what's going to happen, but I can say what the most probable like outcome is of the day, whether it's up, down or sideways. I, you know, I can give my opinion on what's the most probable. And today I really believe that we would be sideways range bounds. OK, so obviously I was giving that in the group of why I believe that, uh, giving a little bit of an explanation there. And um, yeah, that, that was the follow up to the question of, you know, I really believe today will be, you know, sideways range bound. I hope really that gave confidence to people to obviously buy the dip, um, you know, for day trading perspective. Um, you know, if you're envisioning something that's been range bound, when you come down to the low of the range, you're obviously buying the low of the range, selling the top of the range. You know, it's pretty simple stuff, I suppose. Um, what we can see right here is uh, two trend lines I feel are very important from the high to the second high, uh, just that slightly high to the second high, low to the second low. OK, what we are getting is constricting price action. So one can envision this this range actually being broken within the next 24 hours to 48 hours at a push, um, you know, getting a, a, a break off said range. And I think it has been uh, the general consensus from what I can see. The general general consensus is it is that it's going to be breaking down. And I do think you don't generally want to position yourself on the side of what everyone else is thinking. And I I, I get the perspective that a lot of people are positioned to uh, short to be trading this to the downside. So you do want to be a little bit careful of this actually pushing upwards. <laughs> if if I'm honest with you. Uh, if I'm, I'm being very transparent, I am in a short position right now, uh, but I have already uh, taken 40% profits off of my short. So if we do break up, it's not going to be for the end of the world. And also my my short was up here at, uh, at you know, at, at 7,400 ish. And that was taken actually on the live stream on Sunday. So the position that I took on the Champions live stream, I'm actually uh, still on my main account and the challenge account, funnily enough. But um uh, you know, that, that, that's like the, 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 the real good thing of trading that when you do get a good position and, and that one that I got on the live stream was uh, more or less near near the top of the actual high. Uh, so when you get in, when you get yourself into a good position in trading, it is, it's it's firstly good to to hold on to, uh, you know, a, a good entry. And then on top of that, like once you've locked in profits and my profits were taken at seven thousand two hundred. So that's about a two hundred, obviously the lower the range currently. But um once you've locked in those profits and then you've obviously got a stop loss, I would imagine, at, at entry, you know, you'd like to say it's, it's a risk free position and it is a nice uh, it's a nice state to be in in trading that obviously 
you don't want to take profits too early just to be risk free and absolutely that that's the wrong thing to do but when you are in the position of having a good entry higher up having locked in profits at the low of the range and then to be sat in a position with um essentially a risk free trade it does you know it does remove that psychological barrier from from your perspective and trading so it's nice if i'm honest to be in the position i'm in right now but um nevertheless i am i am position short already locked in 40 percent got the left running if i start to see signs of this breaking up then obviously i'll, I'll close out the rest of my short which will now be in profits uh, to true to, to trade this higher um and if i think of the market psychology i would favor this breaking up obviously we have got the cme futures gap the cme futures gap is currently sat at 7800 so we've got a gap in price action on the cme futures as we know bitcoin likes to fill this gap so uh, we could possibly run up anywhere between 7600 to 7800 if, if we want to fill that gap uh, but the only thing that's making me a little bit wary of, of filling that gap is is every time uh, we, we, we start pushing up. Every time we start pushing up, we can see uh, market buys just, just flooding the market. And, and one could say this is retail sort of dumb money. <laughs> um, you know, market buying as soon as you get this push to the upside. And as we can actually see is the, la the last two times that we've pushed up, you know, we've got those market buys coming in and, you know, the price has each time been rejected. So that is that's one thing to bear in mind. And we can see, well, actually, price price still pushing up right now. Um, and if that, if that's the case, if we hold this weekly, then you know one could say it's going to push up. I'll, I'll end with the few levels that I'm looking at. We obviously got the weekly uh, 7,295. The next weekly to the upside 7,629, and to the low this uh, 6,900, basically. So those are the bigger caps of the range right now. Uh, but in the short term, that $200 range that I'm literally trading from, and position short, but feeling as if this could break up obviously if if like i like i would always do really that if if i'm feeling this is going to break the first place i'll always update is my group um if i'm honest with you and uh yeah that's a, so current position short but i have obviously my short is from higher up already locked in 40 percent and obviously when i take profits I, I update my group as well but nevertheless it's a it is a little bit of a difficult one for me it's, it's kind of like a 50 50 in my honest opinion it's a real big 50 50 of whether this breaks up or down so if, if you are not in a position you could you could simply trade the break of the range okay um all i would say is you don't really want to be getting on on the market market side of it but if you can position yourself with a back test then then that's the good way to go about it uh but yeah that that's uh that's the end of today's technical analysis if you're interested in real-time updates from how i'm trading this if i get a glimpse or sort of the idea that we could be breaking up or down uh i will obviously update the group first if you're interested in that you can come across chartchampions.com and uh feel free to sign up and take on my insights um so i hope that you have enjoyed this video i've given you the range to be trading and some of then the bigger capped levels that we can be looking at if this breaks up or down um and uh, yeah hope that you have enjoyed uh thank you everybody so much if you have enjoyed i would thoroughly thoroughly appreciate a like for me that is uh just amazing <laughs> uh so yeah thank you once again have a brilliant evening everybody and i'll catch you in the next video cheers and good night thanks bye <laughs>